Now, the next item on the agenda is the Commission statement making the World Day against Child Labour. Marking the World Sorry, marking the World Day against Child Labour. This is an important day and we really must enable children to have a fulfilling childhood of education and play and not work. And therefore, I think we owe it to the thousands of children in the world who are still in forced labour. And I will start giving the floor to uh, Commissioner uh, uh, Didier Reinders for the Commission. The floor is yours, dear Commissioner. Thank you, dear President, dear members. Thank you for scheduling this debate today to mark the World Day Against Child Labour. There has been a significant decrease in the number of children engaged in child labour in the 21st century, going from 245 million in 2000 to 152 million in 2016. But this positive trend has stopped. Between 2016 and 2020, the number of children in child labor globally has risen to 160 million, nearly half of whom are engaged in hazardous work. We are deeply concerned about the recent increase in child labor, which is affecting children's rights and hindering their full development. We cannot accept this very worrying trend, which is also contrary to the commitment that we have taken with the United Nations 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda to reduce inequalities and poverty in the world. The European Union remains committed towards putting an end to child labor through a zero tolerance approach to the issue. Within the Union, the um, EU strategy on the rights of the child, adopted in 2021, specifically makes the commitment towards a zero tolerance approach against child labor in line with Article 32 of the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights. With the Open Child Guarantee, we aim at fighting child poverty and ensuring that children in need have access to key services to thrive in their life. EU member states have high minimum standards for the protection of children, particularly in relation to child labor, which are in line with and generally provide a higher level of protection than the European Labor Organization conventions on minimum age and worst forms of child labor. When it comes to um, tackling child labor abroad, the EU continues to act. Our 2022 communication on decent work worldwide, which outlines the EU's commitment to promoting the four elements of decent work, social protection, employment, employment creation, standards and rights at work, and social dialogue and tripartism, includes a specific focus on the eradication of child labor and forced labor. The European Union is involved in several projects and programs aimed at eradicating child labor, such as the Sustainable Cocoa Initiative, which promotes the use of sustainable cocoa production methods and works to prevent child labor in cocoa farming, while the Clear Cotton Project aims to combat child labor in the cotton supply chain. The European Union also provides funding for development programs aimed at reducing child labor, such as the International Labor Organization's program on the elimination of child labor and has supported initiatives to combat child labor in specific sectors, such as mining and fisheries. In addition to uh, these projects and initiatives, the European Union promotes international standards on child labor in its free trade agreements and unilateral trade preference schemes. Moreover, the Commission's proposal for a new generalized scheme of preference renders the um, export of goods made by internationally prohibited child labor a ground for withdrawing unilateral trade preferences. 
Another key component of the EU's approach to addressing child labor is the promotion of responsible business conduct and sustainable supply chains. The Commission's proposal for a directive on corporate sustainability due diligence would require companies to identify and address negative human rights impacts in their supply chains, including child labor impacts. The Commission has also proposed to uh, prohibit products made using forced labor from the EU market, including products made with forced child labor. We also work within international and multilateral fora to support the uh, implementation of UN instruments on decent work, and the European Union is actively contributing to setting labor standards through the International Labor Organization. Today, as every day, we should unite to say that all children should be protected from child labor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner.